Hey everyone, Paul here. Today I'm going to be talking about a, um, a strategy when trading gold in Forex. Uh, I've gone over this strategy, I think, with a couple other assets, uh, stock, crypto, that, that. But this strategy works really well for uh, gold, too. Uh, it, you want to have a strategy here that kind of shows you the correct path to go on. And gold is like the number one asset out there so it's very even even if you do the strategy like in the video it's still you know when you're in the trade it's still going to be very volatile so i don't suggest um i don't suggest going in at a big amount i'd start off with a penny and work your way up with a strategy and right now and you can also practice and demo which is what i'm currently doing with this strategy um I'm practicing on a dollar. What I want to see is I'm practicing seeing on demo on a dollar to see how low it goes down in the negative. And so I have a good idea of, you know, how much I would have to actually have in capital to trade it. But anyway, I want to, I want to show you guys this strategy. It works really well. It helps you find all those good moments. You will have to, uh, the focus of the strategy is doing it on the hour, and if you do it this way, you're going to have to stomach the bigs, up, the ups and downs of it all. Uh, but uh, the end result here, if we look, we'll look at the numbers, should be pretty, pretty good. Uh, anyway, let me show you how to set it up and uh, show you the moments of actually entering your trades and exiting your trade. Uh, we're going to be using the Andean Oscillator for this strategy, so I'll show you how to set it up. Okay, so to show you, I have gold loaded up here. We have the Andean Oscillator here. So let's to get these settings here, all you have to do is go to Andean Oscillator, and I'll show you how it lo looks on default. Now, I don't use these lines. I just change the colors. I'll change the signal line to white. I, I consider the, the signal line like the finish line where the other two lines are trying to go to. So, And then the bullish, I make a bright green. And then the bearish one, I make a bright red. So to make it very, very clear, and it looks exactly like the top there. So that's how I set up. That's pretty quick. And I also have the linear strategy in there as well. I've made videos on that. I'm not going to talk about that in today's video. But anyway, the strategy is very simple. There's three entry points that you enter here on your trades. And for, but before we begin, I'm going to look at uh, my demo here. And yeah, you see it's going up and down. It was pretty high. It was at the thousands at one point. Now it's going down again. So it, it goes up very, it's very, very volatile. So just keep that in mind. I'm testing it on the dollar to see how, if I, if I can actually make a, a good amount on this trade. But anyway, um, there's three moments where you have to focus on your entry points here. You'll notice that you will have a, a green line, red line, and the signal line. So basically, the first entry point you want to look for is when the greens and the reds are at war with each other. Now, I do all this on the hour because you'll get the best results. You'll get the best amount of pips. I don't do short time frames. When I trade gold, I want to make the best profit out of it, so I focus on longer time frames. But if you guys want to do shorter, you can do shorter, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. Basically, the three entry points here is you want to be you you want to make you want to find it on the hour, which I do it on the hour here, and you want to get it to the point when the reds and greens are crossing each other. So that's the first one. You want to focus on which one is getting closer to the white line, which I consider the finish line. Uh, the white line I consider like it's the signal line, but I consider it the finish line. So. Uh, Whichever one crosses and gets as closest to the signal line is the one that's winning. And that is the, the direction that it's going. So we can see right here, red crosses the green. So we are in a, a bearish moment. 
We can also see that it is crossing the signal line right about here. So you could enter here. And you, you see that in the candles too. Right here where it crosses, you see it start to go down. Right when it crosses up on the signal line, it starts, you're still going down. So you can get in, you can get in for a sell order here or here. So see, th so this is how you kind of read it. If the, the red line crossing the signal line is a bearish moment. The moment the red line crosses down on the signal line, it is a retracement, and it's going to start going up. It's going to retrace. If the red line crosses the signal line, it's going to it's going to start going up. So, you if you want to look for retracements, you want to look for the red line, the red line to cross down on the signal line. That will do a retracement. That that will be an uptrend. That will be it trying to go up. If this is a green line, a green line coming here, and if it's a green line crossing down, it's a retracement of it going down. The first one is find it crossing, and the one closest to the white line will win. And the next one is to find either green or red crossing up on the signal line, and that is a continued in that direction, so red if, it, if it's red crossing up, it's bearish. If it's green crossing up, it's bullish. And then the next one you want to look for, it's when it's crossing down. So if it's red crossing down, it's a retracement of, and it's going to be going up. If it's green crossing down, it's a retracement of going down. Yeah, it's going down. So that's what you got to look for. Those are your entry and exit points with this strategy. Uh, what I try to look for the most is a cross between the green and the red. Because uh, you'll pro you probably get the best results doing it that way and doing it on the hour. So we're going to look at a couple examples. Now keep in mind when you're doing this on the hour, uh, price of gold is going to fluctuate. It's going to be so you, your lot size, uh, don't, keep, don't do it at a dollar in the beginning. Start small, start a penny, and then grow the count up. So we see right here with gold, we see it crossing, green's crossing the red. It's the signal of it going up. And then we also see the we also see the green crossing the signal line, and then that's another confirmation of it going up. It takes a sharp turn down right about here, so I would I would be in profit at this point. Let's see what happened on this this compared to this. The same, this is the same day, so you got to be really careful. Something must have happened in the market at that point to take that immediate dip. Because it's usually not like that. Anyway, you could see that the green started to go down the signal line and it, it, all, it was a retracement. So let's see if we find another moment here. We see the red is crossing the green right here. So this is a signal of a downtrend. This is a signal of a downtrend. And it's not really... You have to zoom in here. It's not really crossing. So that's a short one right there. Let's see if we can find another moment. Okay, so we see the green is crossing the red. Bulls are winning at this point. You can enter right here. Or you can enter right here where the green is crossing the signal line. And you can still be in profit. Now let's real quickly look and see how much, uh, how, much, how much pips you'll get in these moves. If you got in right here, which is this candle here. And you wrote it up. Let's see, you wrote it up to the point when... Now, you could get out when the green line touches the signal line, or you could just get out when you're in profit. But if you got in right here, which is this candle here, and you wrote it all the way to where the green line touches, where it touches the signal line, which is right here. This is a, let's hold on, right about here. This is a 60,000, uh, this is a 60,000X. So, let's see. 
Uh, let's see, sixty thousand X. So if you had a dollar, you would have made sixty thousand dollars. Let's just say, if, if you wanted to make a million bucks in that one trade, in that one trade, sixty thousand. You your lot size would have to be about sixteen dollars to be a millionaire. But that that's going on. You you would have to have a lot size about sixteen bucks to be a millionaire in that trade. But anyway, let's look at some other ones here. Okay, so we see we see the green line crossing again here. So this is the start of a uptrend right about here. So you ride that one out. This one is a small one. You see. You see the candle start touching the linear line, so you know you need to use, you should get out. This is a 14,000X. So a 14,000X, let's just do a penny. You made $140 in that move there. Let's see if we can find another moment. Okay, so right here we see the green crossing the red. It's closer to, well, this one's kind of, when it's kind of like this, when it's going straight, it's kind of, when you're in a situation like this, I would also throw on the consolidation indicator. And you can see that it's consolidating at this point. So make sure you throw on the consolidation indicator. It will help you find the moments that it's consolidating. And definitely do not do any trades when it's consolidating. So we bypassed all of those. And then we want to look here. We see, the, we see that the red is crossing... The, uh, before when we saw it was the green crossing the red, now it's the red crossing the green right at this point. So you know to get in right about here. So you know that this is a downtrend. You could get in for a sell. And you can ride this out. This is a 23,000x. 23,000 times a penny. 230 dollars. Now... If you did this at a penny, you'd make two hundred thirty dollars. If you did this at ten cents, you would make two thousand three hundred. So it's all up to you what you want your lot size to be. So we see right here that the the green is crossing, and it's also crossing the signal line right here. So this is a signal of it going up. You can follow the linear line, and this is a fifty-two thousand X. So. At a penny, you made $528. At, at, at 10 cents, you made $5,000. There's some consolidation happening right here. And then let's we'll go over a couple ones, and I think you guys get the general idea. Right here, we see the red line is crossing the green line, so the bears are winning at this point. You get in right about here. You write it down. It touches the linear line. You can get out here or here. Uh, this is an 8,000X, so you would make about $88 with a 0 .01. And you'd see 8,884. So you make about $800 on, on 10 cents right there. That's a small one. I'll do a... Uh, Two more times here, and I think you guys get the general idea. Okay, so we see the green line crossing the red line right here. And it goes up right here. Again, touches the linear line right about here. And this is a 13,000X. So then we see we see the red crossing the green line right here. It's breaking out of a consolidation zone. Red line is crossing the, the green line right here. Get in here, write it out. This is a 21,000X. So you see how this strategy, this combination with the linear line and the Andean oscillator is a very, very powerful method. So what you want to look for, again, now what we can see right here with gold is it's consolidating, but I believe it's going to be going down because it's 
starting to touch the linear line, starting to curve down. So I, I think gold is going to start to go down. But anyway, you want to look for your points when when they're crossing. And when it's crossing up on the signal line, that it's a continued direction of, you know, if it's red, it's going bearish. If it's green, it's going bullish. And if it's crossing down on that little signal line, it's doing a retracement. You know, green on the signal line, that's a, it's a, a retracement of a... a it'll start going up on a red and then on a green it'll start going down on a on a green but anyway that's that's how you look at it. that's how you profit i don't do this on shorter time frames because uh, i'm in this to make as much as i can anyway uh this is for entertainment purposes only uh it's not i'm, I'm not responsible for any profit or loss Anyway, this strategy works really well, in my opinion. It's one of the best strategies to see which you know which which is winning the bulls or the bears, and you can really find a lot of key moments. Just keep keep in mind, gold here is very very volatile, so just keep that in mind. It's the number one asset right now, so there's a, of course there's a lot of volume that goes into it. So just keep that in mind when you do your trades. Anyway, if you guys like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. See you guys in future videos.